So my buddy, you know my buddy. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> He got hired to do a job to a local guide's boat. And what he's doing, he's adding a storage compartment to the boat. So I thought we'd go over there and see how he does it. That way we can add a storage compartment to our boat and not have to pay the man. Cause we can do it ourselves. Unless you don't want to do it, then you can pay the man. Yes, I don't know. Anyway, let's get going. Ooh, this is a nice boat right here. Look at that. It's a big old boat. Got some garments on it. It's styled on multi bars. I like it. I really like that sea deck. That's pretty cool. Fully enclosed Bushwhackers Guide Service. I guess if you want a good guide service, right there is the number. Things even got sea deck on the back. I like it. This is a pretty sweet ride right here. It's fully enclosed, so if you book a guide with him, you ain't gonna get cold. I tell you that much right there. I like him multi bars. I want some of that sea deck, dang it. I really like a sea deck. Think you can put me some sea deck in my boat, David? Mm -mm, you have to let the professional do that. <laughs> I'll have that stuff on the side of the wall and everything else. <laughs> <laughs> I like the way you put a little storage box right there at the back deck. That's pretty smart. And you got tunes. You're out on this boat, you get tunes. Because he's got radio. You know what I'm saying? Now that boat out there, this is the man that owns it. He owns Bushwhacker Guide Service. And you mostly fish Tennessee, right? Yeah. What time of year do you guide? I actually leave next Friday, March the 17th, and I fish from March to the end of September. So I put the number to his guide service. It's right on the side of his boat. Y'all saw it. So if y'all want to catch a big old striper or a big old catfish, then you need to give him a call. So these little boxes on the side right here, up on the front of this sea arc, they're hollow, as you can hear. And they don't really serve no purpose but to cover up stuff. So Anthony ordered these lids right here from CR. And they're pretty dang cool. They come all put together. So all David's got to do is cut this out for the lid to set into it and then bolt it down. And they're basically the same thing as the lids that come in the boat. You got your little compartment. Actually, I think that's a live well. You got your anchor locker up there. Well, when David's done, he's going to have his lid and this box over here so it looks like dave's got everything measured up and and calculated and figured out and looks like he's about ready Maybe. i gotta go get me a square so i can get my line straight so david's got it all drawn out see that line right there now he's got to cut this one out he's got to cut this one out we got to put the doors in Ain't no wires on up through here. Ain't no wires on it. Here's what you do to a $100,000 boat. <laughs> but they gonna be fussing because I ain't got my PPE on. Always wear your PPE. Now I can do it with this, it won't be so bad. One down, one to go. That's that. Yep. That's all she wrote. There's wire parts. Ooh. It ain't no wires in there. It's safe to cut. Yeah, there ain't no wires. There's just wire harness. Look at that. Catch the fever. I love my Hellcats. Anthony's actually been on videos with Big Cat Fever. That's kind of cool, I guess. I'm not jealous. I'm not jealous. 
I'm just gonna give me a block of wood or something. Bend it up on? Yeah. People's always comment, I don't have a machine shop. Sometimes we don't either. This is what you do when you ain't got a machine shop, people. You know this is a lever, right? That ain't no lever. Yeah, it is. Lever in there. We should have left her in there. <laughs> so basically what we was doing, we took this piece right here that we cut out of this box. We made a divider. So when Anthony puts stuff in this box, it don't slide all the way down through there and get lost. This will kind of stop everything from going down. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying. You ever seen a boat cover like this? This is freaking fancy right here. Look at that. Yeah, cover for your straps. That's freaking crazy. That'd be perfect. Buddy. I'll show you what I'm gonna do. What you gonna do? I'm gonna take this one. I'm gonna lay it upside down. Take my magic marker. Do, 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 do. Yeah. On my next thing, I'll so be so it won't be measuring. Yeah, as long as I get it close. Ain't touching. Ain't touching. That one be that. It's them welds right there. That's why. Yeah. Them two welds are hitting each other. Can you see it? <laughs> Heck no. <laughs> if it's perfect. That looks good. Get it straight, Dave. I know how to do it now. I thought I did. It's pretty nice. Now I just need to put some on my boat. You got places like that? No. We'll figure out something. <laughs> Last one? Yeah. You just messed me up. You messed me up. <laughs> okay. It'd be all right. Cut. Last cut. one. Cut. Last first. <laughs> We are finished. It looks pretty dang good to me. So basically, if you got a Sea Art dealer near you, just call them. You can order these lids right here. Just put them on your own boat, I guess. Better fit, but if they make them, they'll, they'll work. They even come painted. That's what I like about it. Anthony ordered his lids from Sea Art. All you gotta do is contact the local Sea Art dealer and you can order you some. But you really don't have to go through Sea Art because if you go online, there's all kinds of aluminum lids, there's all kinds of plastic lids that you can buy to add storage to your boat. I'm just saying. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying. I can even get Keith to do some work sometimes. We letting Anthony put this on. In 12 size shoes. Yeah, that thing turned out pretty sweet. These things turned out pretty dang awesome. They really did turn out good. I'm just saying. You know what I'm saying. Well, them there storage compartments turned out pretty dang cool. If I don't say so myself. And I do. If you like this video, then you're probably going to like this video too. So go to my channel page and check it out. Because this video is over. Oh.